Hi, my name is Claudia Garcia Rojas, and I'm here with Grupo Cumbe, who just performed at main stage as part of the World Music Festival. So, hello. Um, if you can just introduce yourselves and tell me a little bit about what musical instruments you play or what it is that you, um, what your sort of position is in the in the group. Let's start, Let's start with our musical director. Hello, my name is Victor Garcia, and I am an alcoholic. I play trumpet and I sing in the band, and uh, I've written a couple of the arrangements up. So. Hello, my name is Natalie Oliveri. Um, I'm one of the singer. Well, I'm actually the singer of the band as well. Um, I play a little bit of piano and percussion, and I also do some songwriting. But in this band, I'm the singer, and I play maracas too. Actually. Which is deceptively difficult. It's a very, very difficult instrument to play. My name is Leo Suarez. I play uh, traditional Afro-Colombian percussion, okay. which is what I played today. Was a tambora drum. I also play the the alegre drum, which Jose was playing today and a little bit of maraca and, and llamado. Okay, so why don't you tell me a little bit about how uh, Grupo Cumbe came together and how it was formed. Well, um, Victor and I, Victor and I will play with a group, a Colombian band out of New York called mm -hmm. Revolu, Grupo Revolu. Okay. And uh, they come out to Chicago a lot, I mean, once or twice a year. And there were so many people contacting us, contacting Grupo Revolu, thinking that they were based in Chicago. That one day I told Victor, I'm like, why don't we just put together a Colombian band? There's no Colombian bands here, Colombian dance band, to mm -hmm. give people an option to instead of be before people that ask, oh, can we book a Grupo Revolu? We would say, no, they're in New York. But okay. now like, they're saying, well, they're in New York, but we have this local option here. And it was something that really the city of Chicago was kind of in lack of. So. Amazing. Um, and so you're the only group in the Midwest that does Afro-Colombian percussion, right? Correct. So tell me a little bit about that and how it is that it distinguishes you from other sort of um, Latino cumbia groups playing in the city. Right. Well, um, the instruments we play are really unique to Latin America. You know what I mean? The, we play traditional instruments. Um, I don't know if you had not video of them, but the alegre drum, the tambora drum, these are drums that are unique to the Caribbean coast of Colombia. And a lot of times people see them, they don't know what to make of them. They think, oh, is that a djembe, is that a conga, is that a, right. a baril de bomba? But no, this, this, uh, these rhythms and these instruments that we play are unique to the Caribbean coast of Colombia. And uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. we're the only people playing you know, that, that type of tradition here in, in, the, in this area of the country. Okay, so um, why don't you each tell me a little bit about sort of the sounds that you sort of play and how it is that it's sort of traced back to the different sounds that you hear in Colombia. Because um, I'm sure there's a melange of different sort of um, sounds and traditions musically, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I notice a lot in the music there's a lot of clarinet and uh, usually they add a lot of inflections like uh, growls and shakes and something that sounds more human more vocal mm -hmm. than anything else and i try to bring that out in the trumpet because i don't play the clarinet you know i just i don't i don't go that way you know mm -hmm. but uh just kidding <laughs> <laughs> and um and likewise when i sing i try to make it more fun like a party atmosphere you know to get the people dancing and mm -hmm. not shy and to sing along and just have a good time you know this is a party band and and i'm really happy to be a part of it so um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of agree with him. Just the melodies of the cumbia, of mm -hmm. cumbia songs are so beautiful. The words are beautiful. Um, and just, you know, even playing the maraca, the tambora, the alegre, everything, all the rhythms kind of connect with each other. There's a mm -hmm. connection between each rhythmic pattern, which I think is really cool. And, you know, it, it kind of gives people that energy to want to dance and, mm -hmm. you know, just move around. So. I mean, uh, what I really enjoy about what we do is the fact that we take very traditional, you know, uh, instrumentation mm -hmm. and then with amazing musicians such as Victor and Adrian, who was playing piano today, and Brent, who was playing bass today, kind of give it that, that jazz feel, mm -hmm. which is okay. something that huge uh, stars of, of Colombian cumbia history have done, such as like Lucho Bermudez and Pacho Galan. These are the people that brought cumbia out of the streets of Barranquilla and Cartagena and into the concert halls of Bogota. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is play a little bit of this and a little bit of that and bring it together and 
hopefully people like it and hopefully people dance and most of the time they do right yeah i was certainly dancing tonight so um can you tell me a little bit about your background are each of you colombianos and if not how is it that your background sort of plays into um your own mis like musical inclinations and inspirations well i'm colombian natalie's half colombian okay and so and half Italian, okay. so in, in the in the whole band that makes one and a half Colombians. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually in a dance a Colombian dance company together since we were tiny kids. So, you know, okay. we were always around to the Colombian music. Okay. Well, um Victor plays with every band of every genre of every nationality and every country that comes through Chicago. Wow. Including Grupo Revolu, which is how he which is how we connected, right? Okay. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Well, um, my first musical experience was singing in a Mexican trio. Okay. With my dad and my brother. So ever since I was a young kid, I was singing, and I've always loved it. But when I got to high school, I had to pick a band instrument. So I couldn't play the guitar or the piano, which I had already been playing for, you know, 14 years. So I had to choose an instrument. I picked the trumpet. Actually, I didn't pick the trumpet. Um, I got in an argument with my dad. So my brother, my little brother got the first pick. He got the drums, which is what I wanted. And then my brother didn't want to play an instrument at all. He took the flute so he can fit it in his book bag. <laughs> and uh, my sister picked a clarinet and I was stuck with the trumpet. But, uh, you know, Seems it was like, like it one of those. <laughs> yeah, it was just like one of those arranged marriages that just kind of worked out in the end. And um, the first the first gigs that I started doing were jazz gigs and shortly thereafter salsa and some classical stuff and mm. from there I've just done pretty much everything you know from Colombian music then I've played with Sudanese musicians you know musicians from Israel I mean I don't know I think all that has become like a melting pot here mm. where when I play all that all those influences just come out of my horn Mm -hmm. no matter what I'm playing, you know? And mm -hmm. it kind of becomes unique to the person, I think. So that's the element of jazz that you were talking about. So Amazing. And so um, tell me a little bit about um, whether you guys have an EP or an album coming out anytime soon. Is there something that fans can sort of purchase or check out? Unfortunately, we are all so busy with so many projects that that's something that we haven't really sat down to talk about. Maybe we should... Maybe we should talk maybe about it. Maybe in the future. Maybe, maybe, okay. maybe because of this, <laughs> because of this interview, we'll talk about it. And yeah. We'll, we'll get around to it. Right now, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to find the time in our schedules mm -hmm. to at least do a, do a, a steady gig or something mm -hmm. like that. Right now, we just kind of come together when necessary. But you know, I think it's, yeah. Yeah. So, where can people check you out next time? Where are you performing? Um, well, the next time we're going to be performing is at uh, Las Tablas, Colombian Steakhouse, on the third okay. Friday of November. Okay. I'm not sure what the date is off the top of my head, but okay. that's for an annual party we do at Las Tablas on Irving Park okay. for the Cartagena uh, Carnivals. Okay. The Cartagena Fall Carnivals. Wonderful. And what is your website address right now? It's uh, Grupo Cumbe, G R U P O C U M B E dot com. Okay, well, thank you so much for your energy tonight. I was grooving. Thank you. It was awesome.